Hello, welcome back to the channel. It is one degree out. It is, it's not Baltic, but it is, it's cold, guys. Right, what are we doing today? Going back after the break 40. Feeling confident after all the lessons and bit of work I've been putting in lately. I feel, I feel we could do it today. It's confident coming in the car. Range session didn't go exactly the plan. I wasn't hitting it great, but I'm still, We've had a bag of pancakes for breakfast, half a packet of bourbon chocolate creams, three cups of coffee. Let's get it. Yeah, where are we going first? New week club I'm trying out is a Titleist 4 iron TMB driving iron. Oh, it's a beautiful strike. Absolutely pure. What a club. Lovely. We're off. Great strike. Got yourselves position A. 120 in. Must hit the green here. I'm going to start doing this. Come on. Pause a little bit. Please get over the bunker. Straight into the bunker. Back. Right, not where you want to be, but we're here. Deal with it. Commit. Confident in the bunker there, but got up and down. Come on. Oh, hey, bitch. Hey, you off, great to not have the goose today. That can be good putter. Yep, one over, I'll take that. One over after the first hole, 120 to the flag into very cold headwind. I'm gonna go pitching wedge. Great strike off the distance. Oh, a little bit long. Okay. Absolutely straight down the line of the flag, just. Long. There is the type of rookie mistake I've just made that stops us becoming better and lowering our handicaps and becoming better golfers. I lasered the flag, got the number, and I just kind of shot the number, not thinking at all where the flag was. Flag is at the back of the green. There's 25 yards from the front of the green to the flag, probably, and I have left myself down long not a lot of green to work with all downhill to the pin so these are mistakes that's, that's the difference between lower handicap golfers I suppose and mid and high handicappers it's not all always about hitting your number or hitting a certain number it's been smart enough that I probably should have went with a club less for being I had plenty of room to be short there and would have had a put where now I have to try and chip this back towards the hole so mistakes need to be sorted out. So, try and use that new technique that I've gotten our lessons from Couch. So, very tricky shot, but feet closer together so we stop mad body rotation. Club more upright so the toes down. All we're trying to do is get that mid rail there and that dribble down towards the flag. So even if you can't duff this, it's just about finding the pace really. Beautiful. Love it. Love it when you walk on something in the box. Yes. Yes. That's why you get yourself a good coach. Beautiful. 
Okay, so it was a great recovery wedge there. I'm glad I got that lesson. That was really paying off with them wedge shots. Before I would have been trying to get under the ball, and, you know, silly stuff. I mean, hit the ball back down the green, losing shots. So. Practice is paying off. Right, index one hole again. I'm just gonna try this lovely four iron again. Half one down there. A little bit toy, but down there we're away. Bit to go, 190 in. I am not going to like six iron thirty, but I'm not. I'm gonna go eight. I'm gonna start trying to play a bit sensible now. Eight iron, get us up there, wedge in a putt, we cancel par. Rather than trying to go for the green, hitting the low bounds. Terrible shot, but right, look, fair way. Okay, yeah, so there were two not very good shots. The whole point of hitting an eight iron was try and strike it well, give yourself a chance, but obviously put it out of bounds. So. Trying to play a bit sensible. Hitting it out of bounds. Right, 65 in here, I need to get it on the green, then, yeah. Again, another bad shot. Okay, so another bad shot. Not greatly executed, but I think the just thought process, isn't it? The pin was at the front. I was trying to hit the exact number, thinking I'd put it close. End up leaving it 15 yards short. All the green up there behind the flag. I should have been putting it up flag or past it. At least you're putting back rather than this now. Short side of trying to chip on. Toe the club down. Gentle swing. Spin, spin. Ooh. Gave it a bit too much. That's a nine. That is absolutely shocking. Like, took sensible thing taking the iron off the tee. Wasn't the best strike, but it got us in play. Second shot was trying to be sensible, just a bad strike. That's gonna happen. You can't, you're not gonna play a whole round without hitting a bad strike. But it's just. Second over, but then the two wedge shots. Suddenly, I find sometimes I start chasing the pin and just still play sensible. Just put the ball on the green, a put or two, and you're out the door. Instead of fucking trying to chase an exact number on a pin with a wedge, 65 yards, missing, leaving yourself a crappy little chip wedge on, missing that, you end up with a nine. That's, I think. Golf sense, isn't it? It's a massive. That's a big hill. Climbed up. But, uh. It's golf sense, isn't it? It's just. Even when you hit a bad shot, put it to bed. Don't hit another silly shot. Try and, like, alright, things can go wrong, but at least pick the sensible shot rather than trying to chase a pin. Anywho, strong mental. Come on. I'm gonna go with the L4 iron again. If 
driver didn't feel great in the range but then as well we've just hit a nine i don't want to slice my old player fuck one up on this drive so come on let's get an iron down there reset keep the game going Lovely. Straight again. What an iron. Left ourselves in 37 in. A little bit leaky as well, but ah, it's over there. Alright. One of these chip shops I've left myself. It's all downhill pins. So. I'm a little bit right there. Close together, toe down, and swing. Oh, how would you like it? Alright, try and get power here. Slidey left or right from it. Seven over after that. I'd have to uh, birdie on par or everything else to try and break 40. I think at this stage it doesn't match 40, so I'm not saying it can't be done. That's just strong mental. Let's try and get a see if we can get our game back here. Sensibility. All right, four iron again. All right, so we are 160 to the pin. It's a yellow pin, just further on in the green, obviously the back side of the green. Bunkers to the left there. I am thinking, start out here at that kind of tree, bigger lump of bushy tree down there, and draw one back in. That in my head is the most sensible, sensible thing. Oh, just let's do it. Absolutely, let's go. We uh, thought about that shot and we, we executed it. That was per. It's a long port here. Right. Just spin lid. Get a look there within three foot if possible. That'll do. Power put, you know, kind of slidey left to right. Box on these. Yes! Come on! Yes! Okay, so power five. I'm changing a few things in the driver swing and um, kind of in between. I haven't mastered it yet, so it drives a bit all over the place. So I am just going to and go back to an all kind of trusty feel and grip I have. Just see if I can get one up there and fairway. That's an automatic reload. I do find that to be a strange old rule. If you some of you hit the power wires, is you have to reheat. Strange rules in golf, isn't it? 
you have heard of any strange rules put them in the comments there stuff up there yeah so here in light the question was it worth even pulling the driver out in that hole we'll be gone a little over 200 yards it's probably not oh, it fell back again ah. in. have to clear that bunker Helping slightly. Nice and easy. Hit, hit, hit. That'll do. It's mid long, but got a lower bunker around the green. Downhill, right to left. It suits me. I think. Again, we're testing in there when it's three feet, give ourselves some tarp. Nestle it in there. That's exactly what it says on the tin. Big lump of an animal had a big dirty Barry White in the middle of the green. got the golden goose in the bag anymore. Wouldn't be making that with Goosey. Right. It seems to be fairly well up in the middle of the green. Um, lots of space out here. The wind is coming across left, from the left into our faces. Pitching wedge. I think again, I want to try and shape it. Draw shape. Start it out. Right across that bushy tree is. Bring it back towards me. Okay. Say it, see it, do it. There it is. More wind pulling up. Too much draw. Oh. Oh. Was, uh, too much draw, but I drew the ball, so I was trying to do it. Is in the bunker, I'm pretty high though, so with the right number, just didn't obviously, uh, didn't obviously start it out enough. Maybe, uh, well, look, overdrew it, but as I said, I said I was going to play a draw, and that's what I did. That's something I'm working on as well, shot shaping. So we'll take a positive out of it. Be confident. Confident. Open the face right up. Wait. Forward. Remember to release the club. So after an amazing bunker shot there, I will say it's amazing for me. Um, let's try and tidy up our car here. Again, left right bit of a slider. Yes! Come on! Oh, 
thought that was just going to slide out there from there. Yes! So, played a couple of nice holes there. I'll go back on the four iron here on this par five. Just keep this ship steady. No, bear away. Okay, so I can't directly see the pin, but we have roughly 260 or so in. Now, so I'll slightly be making our feet. Not that I can get, well, I could get wood, but I'm not going to. I'm going to hit an eight. I'm going to aim out a bit to the left, so if it does slice a bit, I'm not in trouble, and I'll give myself a silver shot here. Don't have to murder this, just have to get the connection. That's all we need to do. How did I manage to do that? I want to draw a ball off it down with the light for some reason. Just a left rough here, 109 in. It's not the sort of pin to be going after. It all falls away, so unless you can spin a ball back about six foot, you ain't going after that one. So, somewhere if, uh, if you're the big tree is there, we're going to aim at that side of the green there. You're pretty, give yourself some chances at a putt. Oh, pin was big, believe it. Be nice, man, be nice. Oh, landed on the green and stopped. Okay, okay. Got away at one. Okay, so it didn't land on the green, just off the right hand side. This, uh, you won't see it on camera, but this is an absolute, I won't say horrific chip, but the green is all falling down and to the left. Round spot up there. Nicely on. Let the green bring it down to the flag. Take much at all to bring it down, do it? And you can't see it in the thing, but it is steep. Should I tidy up for a par? Uphill, 68 left and right. Oh, I rammed it by it. Yeah, well, four. Again, yeah, keep it smooth. We're gonna go with the work going on for the winter. Right, so try and keep it smooth. Get us up there. Four iron today is a great buy. 40 quid on adverts. That I love it. Five in, not a lot of green to offer. So, ba ba ba. Right. Went for the center of the green. Right? It's something to the pin. I think, can't see the sun, that might dribble into the bunker. But you might see a bit of sunshine and when you get it, absolutely blinds you. Yeah? Ah, uh, all right, bunker once again, not a lot of green to walk with. We're hitting the right bunker shots today, so let's hope we can uh, keep you on.
Okay, so we failed once again. I suppose at this point of the challenge has to be a challenge. Um, like, I feel my game is there. I'm a lot better, I think, than a 17 handicap. I think it is doable. I have, look, I'm working a short game, I was working well. I got out of the bunker a good few times today with some good shots, confident. Just, you would wonder sometimes, like how much, how much does the mental side of the game, how many, how many handicap points does that relate to? Like, I've played with scratch and low handicap players that have their striking is obviously a lot better. They, they hit what they want to hit, you know, close to pins, hit greens. But like, how many, how many points? Like, is like taking the right shot at the right time? Like that, the third hole there. Like I put the first day there and out of bounds. The second one, Grant was was we still had a shot in, but then just them wedge shots there. Instead of playing the sensible shot, end up doing something stupid. Start chasing pins, throw throw it away. Like end up with a nine, nine. It just it, it's not good enough. Like we parred a good few holes, a couple of bogeys, which is acceptable for for me uh, to a certain extent. But just you can't be doing nines. Nines is just ah, not even a snowman. Like. Nine, God. But look at positives. I feel my game is coming on. I do think it is doable. Hopefully soon. But uh, I do wonder, like, what, what what is the mental side of the game? Like, how many points? How many how many how many points of your handicap do you think it's worth? Like, it has to be worth four or five. Is that four or five shots around? Four or five. Points in your handicap, possibly as well. I don't know. Any other positives? The four iron, oh, 40 quid on adverts. Like 40 quid, what an iron. That thing is beautiful. Feels buttery there. You hit it, it's lovely. Beautiful club. The best 40 quid I've spent in a long time. So that's definitely staying in the bag, yeah. Sometimes you buy clubs and they're, yeah. A disaster. I had a hybrid there, did not like it at all, could not get used to it. So I wanted a long iron, and that is that's a great iron, definitely. That's staying in the bag. Um, okay, another one survived close, no cigar again, but progress has definitely been made. Um, we'll, we'll get there, all right. So, oh good, how do you think I'm getting on? Do you think I'll be able to do it? Do you think golf is like how many? What what do you reckon on the mental side of it? What's that worth in a game on your round? And uh, anything else you want to tell me or comment about? Let me know. Um, and yeah, like and subscribe, please. We're gaining subscribers every day, so people are watching. So hopefully, I can a bit more to do. Obviously, the audio hasn't been great. We're sorting out that. That's we're gonna have mics coming soon enough. So if I keep seeing you liking and and watching. We'll try to up our game as best we can. Anyway, thanks and on to the next.